Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about adding and subtracting uh, place value and number facts. Okay, so um, we have 168 here and I'm going to uh, go through uh, what happens when you add 1 and subtract 1, add 10, subtract 10, add 100, subtract 100. Okay, so uh, first of all we're going to look at the 8. Uh, you have to remember that the 8 is in the units column. So we're going to just label that units. The 6 is in the tens column and the 1 is in the hundreds column. So this is actually uh, 8 units, 60. The 6 because it's in the tens column means it's 60. And the 1 because it's in the hundreds column means that it's 100. So if we were to rewrite it, it would be 100 plus 60 plus 8. Okay, so if we had 168 and we are uh, adding 1, that means that the only digit out of these three that's going to change is the units digit. And that digit is 8 right now, but if we add 1 to it, 8 plus 1 is going to be 9, so our new number is going to be 169. Okay. Now, if we subtract one digit, or one number from 8, if we subtract 1 from 8, that means the units digit, which is 8 now, will become a 7. So that means we have 167. Make sure that you understand that the, the digit 1 and the digit 6 don't change. They stay exactly the same, and uh, because we are not looking at the tens or the hundreds, we're just looking at the units. Okay? Right, okay, so let's go to the next one. We're now looking at the at the 6, at the 60 here. Alright, so we have 60 and we have to add 10. Well, if we have 60 already, that means we have 6 sets of 10. If we add another set of 10, that means our new number is going to be 178. Remember that the 8 doesn't change because we're not dealing with the units anymore, and the 1 doesn't change because we're not looking at the hundreds. Okay, the only digit that in this case is changing is the one that's in the tens column. Okay, so we have uh, 168, and we're now going to subtract 10. That means that we're taking away one set of 10 from here. So 60 take away one set of 10 is going to be 158. All right, again, make sure you recognize that the 1 is not changing because we're not changing anything in the hundreds column and we're not changing anything in the units column. The only digits we're changing are in the tens column and because we haven't gone higher than 9, nothing else is changing, just the uh, tens digit. Okay, now we're going to go over to the hundreds digit, which is the 1. All right, we have one set of 100 which gives us 100, all right, and we're going to now add another set of 100, which means our new number is going to be 268. All right, and so let's go on to uh, subtract 100. That means if we have 168 and we subtract 100, that means we're getting rid of this 100 here, which leaves us just with this. So that means we are left with 68, okay? Okay, what I'd like you to do now is, uh, following along the same ideas as I did, I'd like you to take this number now, and I'd like you to fill in these uh, spaces here. Okay, so pause the video, uh, write in the numbers that you think <coughs> should go there, and then I will uh, tell you what uh, should be in there, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see where you went wrong. Okay, so pause the video, and then I will go through... Uh, the answers. Okay, so po hopefully you have paused the video and you've given this a try yourself. So 269 and we add 1. That means that the um, units digit 9 is going to change. The next digit up from 9 is going to be 0. But then that means that the digit in the tens column is going to have to change as well. And that's going to have to go up by 1. So our new number is going to be 270. Okay? 
And if we subtract one from uh, the unit's digit, then it's just going to be 268. All right. If we add 10, that means we're looking at the 60 here. We have six sets of 10, so if we have six sets of 10, uh, if we add another set of 10, that's just going to give us 279. All right, and if we subtract a set of 10, that's going to give us 259. And looking at the hundreds now, we're looking at the digit 2 here, which is uh, the same thing as saying 200. So its uh, number is actually 200 plus 60 plus 9. So we're now looking at the hundreds, okay, here. And if we're going to add another set of 100 to 200, that means that we have 369. And uh, so obviously if we have a set of two sets of 100, if we take one of those sets away, that means we're left with 169. Okay? Okay, I'd like you to give this uh, question a try now. This is a four-digit number, and um, be careful when you're subtracting a hundred from this number because you're going to um, cross over the boundary, so it's no longer going to be a four-digit number. It'll be a three-digit number when you get to here, all right? Um, and uh, when you are adding one, be careful because there's more than one digit is going to change when you do that. Okay, as with the tens. All right, so good luck. Pause the video and we'll see how you do. Okay, so these are the answers that uh, I came up with. 1099 add 100 should take you to 1100 because 99 add 1 is going to be 100. So it'll be 1100. Okay, 1099 subtract 1 is 1,098. 1,099 plus 10 is going to give you 1,109. Uh, 1,099 1 subtract 10 is going to give you 1,089. If you add 100, it's going to be 1,199. And if you subtract 100, it will be 999. I hope those answers were the same ones that you got. If not, you can try watching the video again. Uh, and if that still doesn't help, you can try the Khan Academy. Perhaps they have a video that uh, might help you some more. Okay? Good luck.